Hey everybody. Uh, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm Connor McGraw, and that's Andy. Uh, hey, better. <laughs> Andy Andy sites with us today again. Uh, and I'm Connor McGraw, and with me is Arlen Haro and uh, Chris Smith. Hi. <laughs> I was hoping uh, I could be Isa, but I guess oh, that would I mean, work. I mean. Nah. No one, no one nah, but Isa was... can be Isa. Yeah, exactly, that, and that'd be in poor taste. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of fucked up, yo. On. Hold on, we found oh, out that he's oh. white. Oh, oh. <laughs> he took a he took an ancestry test. He's like fucking fifty percent white. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! What? That is twenty five percent German. <laughs> that is amazing. I've been calling him honky all week. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! So okay, he, he got crazy. he got like Elizabeth warned. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're uh, telling me he was uh, he was like that professor this whole time? Uh, now not. you can say whatever you want about. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyways, we're here to talk about video games because Arlen isn't here and can't tell us what we're doing, so. <laughs> Get, Get it, it cut. Cut. Get it cut. <laughs> <laughs> This is our show now. Uh, so it's the week before E3. Pretty excited about that. Um, yes. There's a bunch of weeks I've been pouring over. Week. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, starts on the 10th. <laughs> um. Hell yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of leaks, and I've been playing a ton of video games, mostly Mass Effect. So we figured yes. we'd come on here and talk about them. Of course for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, what's everyone been playing? <laughs> that isn't Mass Effect. Mass Effect. I did find out, so, because I have Game Pass, and it's on my PC, that EA has their own thing now, too. But if you have Game Pass, you get access to, like, the first tier of EA. Oh, yeah. They, no, you they, get... You get... You get access to all of the EA stuff that uh, they had yeah, on their EA, version of Game yeah. Pass. Yeah, they have, like, EA has its own, like, another level up, too. Oh, um, really? Yeah. It's, like, 15 bucks or something like that. But I they bet, have, like, yeah. Yeah, uh, they have all the Dragon Age games, and they also had Command & Conquer Remastered, which oh, I've yeah. been playing, ooh. and I'm like, ooh. ooh, Red Alert Remastered, and they updated the graphics and everything. Oh, man. Is, is Red Alert... And, is Red Alert the Tim Curry one? Yes. Red Alert 2 is the Tim Curry Hell one. Hell yes. Yes. Space! Space! <laughs> Yuri. Yeah, Red Alert 2 is where you just, like, have, like, an entire, like, if you play the game as Yuri, you'll just make, like, an army of Professor X's to just beat everybody. That's pretty amazing. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's how I'd always win. i just, like, make, like, an army of them. Then anybody comes by, they just take them over. Um, huh. but it's been like it's like really cool. I'm like it's it just shows like how good Game Pass is that like it just gives you that whole other side of shit. Mm-hmm. I love doing. It's like oh because I have a Series X. It's like oh, you know I'm playing Mass Effect on there, but it's like there's n- there still has been like no new first party games, but Game Pass is so fucking good. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I man. A game like the EA stuff on Game Pass has been kind of kind of awesome because like, add like, shit, shit like the Salvatore and like, um, man, there's a lot of like EA games that I really like that I forgot about. Man, it's all those old Bioware games are great that they own. Like <laughs> JM J- oh, Empire is so good. So good. Um, but yeah, I've been playing um, Mass Effect. Obviously, really, that's been my entire life for the past three weeks. Uh, yeah, I also one I just started two this like yesterday. Oh, yeah, I'm doing all the side missions on two right now, I and did, I feel so yeah. bad. <laughs> like, oh yeah, there's there's story to this game. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Wait, also, you're telling me you never play played? You never played the side missions, and when you played it the first time? No, I did. The thing is, though, I I've just been really I've gotten to a point in the story where they're like, okay, do as much as you can because you have to go get the IFF relay, relay. and I'm like, uh, oh, 
Oh, I'm like, boy. before, oh, before I, get, up. yeah, before <laughs> I get Legion, I have to do all the loyalty quests, and then I just got like sucked in. Yeah, there's a problem though. You fucked up. You didn't do I know quick I, enough. <laughs> I know I didn't. Everyone's going to die. I'm <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the choice uh, you made. You gotta stick with it. Well, that's true. I've killed a lot of people in this right now. So. <laughs> yeah, you are <laughs> you are literally renegade for life, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> um, How many times have you punched that reporter in the face? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do you just yell I can't leave your TV when you do it? <laughs> yes. In, in my head, Shepard is like a space MAGA. <laughs> <laughs> he's like constantly like fuck all the other alien races it's humanity forever oh yeah that's literally how they have renegade especially in the first game yeah and it's just like okay your choices are you can save these people or just like kill them and it's usually like, all right, well bye <laughs> yeah yeah what's 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 the choice that's going to be the easiest to make oh you'd actually have to work with these people fuck them fuck them all yeah. <laughs> No, I, they're, they're just gonna get away. It's, mm-hmm. it's so fun. I forgot how much fun that like that trigger thing is, and that they introduce in Mass Effect yes. Two of like it's your so reaction. Uh, it keeps you involved in like this stupid like cutscene conversation thing so well. Yeah, I like. I like, I, like looked at my phone for a second and noticed there's a renegade option, and like rushed my controller. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's I've been having a lot of fun with Mass Effect. I really like those games. Uh, I can't wait for them to fuck it up. <laughs> like, yeah, well, that's gonna... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear 2012 is right around the corner. Yep. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, aren't they supposed to be announcing a new one? So you play they anything did. Anything else, Hunter? Uh, Halo. I've been playing Master Chief Collection as well, and that's been really fun. Um. I I really like the Halo games. Uh, I am really nervous about Infinite. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just the fact that they they're kind of hush hush about it I does tried not instill go back and play what was it Halo Five? I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, it's I had a I tried to go back and play five. Mind you, this was like a year ago or something, and I just I lost my 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 interest in playing Halo games. I don't know what it is. It's like I just I don't really care anymore. It, it, like the last one I enjoyed playing was it could, three. It could be that, and that was it for me. I feel like. Three is the one where a lot of people jumped off. Four is good, but like, I, uh, I, I don't, I, I, I like five, but I kind of have a love hate relationship with five, and that well, I, it's the only, it's the only Halo game I've been banned from like four times. Uh, four, was three or four the last one for Bungie? Three, uh, three, three. Halo uh, Reach. Three, I yeah. think was. Yeah, yeah. Reach. Yeah. Reach. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. And but it's like, oh, I I've love never, yeah, I've never noticed like a game series falls off so, so hard and s- for such obvious reasons. Yeah, but, like <laughs> it's like, oh, we handed this over to Big Mama, like to like the Big Mommy Company, and peaced out, and they just like, oh, we don't know what we're doing. Sci-fi stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, now they make Destiny, which everybody loves. That yeah. then it, it, it has a good entrance. Ne- Destiny has never been controversial. Mm. <laughs> mm. I I got into Destiny pretty hard for a bit, but then I don't know. I just just like oh, I'm bored with this, and just kind of dropped it. it got, yeah. I just I can't I can't get into the grind of like okay, well you have to do these sixteen different things to get this one rare currency, so you can end up buying this thing, which will open up part of a mission in this part to get this one rare one. We haven't even started. Talking life, about bro. Marvel Avengers, like you don't need to bring that oh. game up. Oh. <laughs> I like that game, but man, I fell off I so hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love, I, I really enjoyed it. And then once I went to other things, and Connor keeps talking about stuff, I'm like, I'll get to it eventually. I'll play as Hawkeye or something, or 
because they did the Black Panther thing, and they still haven't even mentioned Spider Man. But like, uh, man, that's yeah, just, that's just I feel like with Destiny, it's like that's it's the same problem. It's just like that grind is so boring. Yeah, it, it's a problem that a lot of these free to play, uh, not free to play games, but like these Destiny like games that come out is like they they come out and they need to be fine tuned, and then the f- player base falls off. And then there's a cycle where they just turn the game around in like two years, everybody's playing it again. Yeah. Yeah. And they've done a oak. I know for the first Destiny, like that kind of is exactly what happened. They yeah. They just kept, kept pumping out like new shit for it. Mm-hmm. And like, no, no Man's Sky is the same thing. It's like that game came out, everybody hated it. And then the first, I remember the first update that came out, everyone was like, oh, they're actually like dedicated to fixing this. Yeah, well, they overpromised and like delivered nothing on what they said. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's that's that is my my motto in life. Uh. <laughs> overpromise, underdeliver. Yes, <laughs> isn't that the Assassin's Creed? Yeah, <laughs> same uh, thing. That's for Unity, I think specifically. <laughs> Some might argue uh, Odyssey as well, but I don't know. <laughs> not, not me. Yeah. I like Odyssey. I yeah, like Odyssey is fun. Yeah, yeah um, they might have over delivered. Yeah, I have not played the new one. I've heard Valhalla? it's like, I've heard it's insanity. Like it's, it's, so, it's so good. It's so it's good. Heard, yeah, like people are complaining it's too big and too long. No, no, no they're no, it's, they're crazy. It's they don't so good. Talk about. Yeah, it's it takes all of the best things from uh, Origins and Odyssey and kind of condenses it into one game. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the hunting down like specific characters like in Odyssey, like they have that in this, but it's not oh. it's not key to like getting the best ending of the game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just little things like that. And and, and, it, and that uh that whole system is actually really cool because like mm-hmm. you have to like parse out what where these people are going to be or who they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a very to, interesting way to do, like a a pseudo nemesis system almost. Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of what they're trying to do, and it just doesn't really work as well as the nemesis system does. Thanks, Warner Brothers, for copying that. It's not using it. Um, I don't know. For for me, recently, what I've been playing, like, uh, it's, I started playing a Warhammer like Diablo game today, which was kind of cool. Like, it's it was super cheap on game or on a uh, on Xbox Live, so I was just like, all right, I'll grab this. Um, I was playing Conan Exiles for a while and enjoying oh, it. Yeah, I'm so disappointed in the console version because I'm not allowed to choose how large my dick is. And <laughs> And I'm so greatly disappointed in the U- United States, like prudish behavior about nudity, because it, I want to have a giant goddamn hog that I can just run around with a shirt yeah. and shoes and gloves on, but no pants the whole time. That's that is the uh, shoes on. I go shoeless. Uh, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta make it make the outfit really weirdly complete. Did you see the, the okay? I. I mentioned this in in the chat, but did you see all the weird mechanics about like slavery and stuff in that game? I I I've seen some of the things I can build, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be building that. This, like, it, it is <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it is so weird because it's it's the only game I can think of where they're like, we're going to put slavery mechanics. Slaves. In the game. Yeah. yeah, I think they call them thralls in the Thrall. game. They yeah. don't outright call them slaves. Yeah. But it's, like, I get why they're there because, like, it's kind of part of the mythos of that world. Yeah, but, but do you want to do you want to open up that option to an online game? It, it's weird when that's like a meter in a game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's weird where they like incentivize you to do that because, like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to. I like well, it's, it's. Yeah, it's one of those problems with like adapting anything from like i don't even know like before one like 2000 i feel like you're gonna run into those weird kind of things yeah yeah a lot of the and lovecraft s- games run into that as well yeah oh, they always the, they always have the, a very, very large warning in the beginning of each game about yep. the racism and mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah 
But yeah, I, that's with Conan or like Conan Origins. Good job, Eric. Conan Exiles, <laughs> like um, <Queen> yes. <laughs> uh, it, okay. Like I was, I jumped into that because I was playing Subnautica for a bit, and I was kind of having like a little bit of a a resurgence of like, oh, oh I kind of like survival games, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then I kept getting killed in Conan Exiles. So I'm like, fuck this shit. So I'm done with that <laughs> for quite a while. You know what that kind of made me think? Like, I'm surprised. I think that they make a game in the 90s, like a Dune game. Yeah, they I, did. What I is that? Like, uh, I, I feel like Dune Tom? could... Uh, yeah, I feel like Dune could really do something similar. Well, like, it, was a, it was a real-time strategy game, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Kind of like Command & Conquer, but before Command & Conquer. Yeah. They have, that company does a lot of, like, uh, stuff like that, where it's like, we have the rights to like Conan and like, and, and they had Dune I, for a little while. Yeah. They, they, like, they did a, they did a um, uh, 360 game for Conan. That was like a, a de- like a action that game. That actually wasn't bad. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. that yeah. game. Yeah. Like you could get different, you could carry different weapons in each hand and like, depending on your weapon combinations, would lead to whatever fatalities, like, <laughs> or whatever cool. death ways you killed people in the game. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it's fun. I, I I like games like that where it's like this stupid little B game that mm-hmm. came out of Europe somewhere. Yes, yeah, definitely came out of Europe somewhere with how <laughs> janky that game was. Yep. Mm. I yeah, know, I it's just, I, my point is more like I, it's surprising that somebody hasn't taken like the world of Dude, especially with the movie coming out, and done like a Mad Max or a Conan style game where just yeah, like weird. I feel like that fits really well. Especially with uh, Warner Brothers uh, being in games. Well, actually, you know what? Now, I don't know if that's possible. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's. I think it's because Dune, nobody knows how to actually turn the story of of Dune into a game. Because, I mean, Paul is only really the hero of the first book. Oh. So, I guess in my head, like, you would just put a character in that world. And that's your game. Like, you just... It's a game like those other games, but in the Dune world. So oh, you're so, just, you're okay, just so like character. an online survival game or something like yeah. that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like Minecraft. So, so you can just get addicted to uh, spice, and that's yeah. all you do for the whole game. Yeah. Oh, addiction mechanics. Yes, I like this. It's GTA, yeah. it's GTA 5, but Dune. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cyberpunk, except but Dune. Except and everything's it works. a sandworm. Um, yeah. Andy, what have you been playing, man? Uh, Me? Yes. I've been playing. What have I been playing? Uh, I've been playing hoop and stick. Hell oh, yeah! Um, no, I've been Roll playing it. lots of Mass Effect and uh, uh, Gears Bakarian is real and he ate my ass. <laughs> um, uh, before or after the face scars? Yeah, that's important. Both. Um. Oh. I also been playing L- La Near Replicant. I'm trying to 99. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, and also been playing Shadow of the Colossus. I'm gonna finally finish this fucking game. <laughs> I've this is like my third playthrough of really. It, I've never actually finished it. Wow. Um, That's yes. interesting. Because <laughs> I got it back when it was on PS2, mm-hmm. and then you know, I think I I think I only rented it and I didn't finish it. I can I can respect that. Like, the Shadow is Shadows is a game that's like all of those games really are games you really need to like put time into. <laughs> They're fully yeah. Really that's the same company was it Last Guardian? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I, I put like twenty hours in. And I was like, I feel like I haven't done anything. I, I don't. Keep going I don't hate that game. I really don't hate that game. But like, it's man, gorgeous. It, it's good. It's good looking uh, for sure. Yeah. I like the dog thing i don't know what the fuck it is he looks cool um i i I really love ico like ico is one of my favorite games it's like man it is that 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 studio don't miss for the most part except for the one time they did well what they've done four games uh i think so yeah i don't think i don't think they worked anything prior to ico yeah i didn't i because i know they kind of came out of nowhere and i I don't think anybody's ever said anything like, oh, yeah, they were involved in this game, too. I mean, maybe they were in one way or another, but I'm just, the only ones I care about are 
<laughs> yep, Call of Duty. Yeah, Bobby kind yeah. hired them. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> I'd like to see that would be honestly. I. It wouldn't be worse. It'd be it at least would, be something different. New. It'd be interesting. It, it would. It would be what Ken Levine always talked about wanting to make, like the the game that made you feel something. Like I forget he talked about a while, this a while ago when he was. Oh. Uh, I, he wanted to make some sort of ridiculous sounding game, and I can't remember what it was, but it sounded terrible. It Ken Levine like, says a lot of things. Yeah, he does. He does. He like does. like how he's like how he's making Logan's run. Uh-huh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh believe god. it when I see it, Ken. From how many years ago? Jesus Christ! Didn't they try to redo that, like as like a show? Probably. Um, yeah, probably. It was probably on Fox. Oh no! I feel like it was like a Showtime thing. I think it was like right oh. after Westworld came out. They were like, "Oh, we everybody starts buying up these like." 70s 60s movies sci-fi movies oh yeah i didn't i didn't hear about that that recently i could have sworn there was something in like the late 90s early 2000s that was logan's run but maybe i'm incorrect i don't know i'm old i forget things easily mm-hmm. yeah you wouldn't survive in logan's run no i wouldn't i'd be dead already man yeah, your light my, would be yeah my, exactly my hand would be all glowy um <laughs> andy with uh with uh near automata like how many endings do you have at this point uh uh, right now, I have two. Uh, I'm working on uh, the the third currently. I'm trying to for the, for that one to get the third. Well, I guess the last three you have to uh, find all the weapons. Okay. And I could do that right now, but I'm also like wanting to do all the side stuff, the grinding. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have like seventy hours in this game. <laughs> um, Lord, yeah, wow. that's uh, like good shit. The uh, the item grinding is bullshit. <laughs> uh, it it is a little tedious. When I was replaying it, like a lot of that stuff is very uh, tedious. Is a good word. <laughs> it yeah, because like when you know. It's like other things, you know, there's uh, percent percentage drops uh, associated with different enemies. Um, but uh, to, like, reset an area, I feel like takes a lot of effort. Because um, you, don't, you don't move incredibly fast, and uh, there's a mediocre fast travel system. <laughs> yep. No. It, it does... Does not get you where you need to go. Um, <laughs> It'll get you around the area. Yeah, it gives you the yeah, general vicinity. Yeah. Um, and so it's just like really uh, tedious, yeah, to be like, oh, well, this enemy didn't spawn in this area or, you know, et cetera. Yeah. And so there, it's, there's a lot of reloading quitting (laughs) that because that's faster than like leaving the area and coming back in some cases well that sounds like a lot of fun it 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 is the story is great listen yeah they 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 got that that great fishing mini game i yeah i like the fishing actually um i i like fishing in many in uh, games uh i also want them to stop putting fishing in games uh yeah did you lose did you lose yourself in red dead oh sure did <laughs> um i did a, listen every single game i play that has fishing in it i fish to the fullest extent uh final fantasy 15 that was chaos uh Near Automata. A lot of junk. Yeah, I tried Final Fantasy XV. I just could not get into the combat system. Oh, it's so good, though. That's but, like, simple. I played... It's, like, very similar to what they did for a 7 remake, right? It's, like, the same thing. And I oh, guess... I, don't, yeah. it's, it's, I liked it, it in yeah. 7 remake, so... I guess so, I just didn't get attached to the characters. I, I guess... I, 
Well, in in the next one, they got the Devil May Cry out of the combat, so it'll probably be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If For sick. 16? Yeah, the Devil May Cry oh, guy is doing fuck. the combat. It's pretty sick. Oh, that's I didn't know kind that. of awesome. Oh, that's man. kind of everything I wanted out of Final which, Fantasy in a while. Hold on, which, which Devil May Cry guy? <laughs> uh, they got DMZ. Devil May Cry the one you want. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the one you got. It's the one you want. It's the, it's the guy who did five. That's I think I'm like one. one of six people that beat two. <laughs> oh, I I beat two. I don't remember a single thing about it, but yeah, I, I beat it. I watched I watched someone beat two, and I was yeah. like, man, I hate the play. I don't want to. So I, I started playing it recently. I think it's fine. <laughs> it it's it inter- mm-hmm. it, Go ahead, like, whoever. It, I was just gonna say, like it wasn't a Double May Cry game. They just reskinned it. Isn't that the whole story? Well. That the whole thing is like Devil May Cry was supposed to be Re- Resident Evil Four, like that's yes. that's yeah. the like the official sort of canon is Devil May Cry was always going to be a version of Resident Evil, and then it wasn't. I can't even imagine what Resident Evil would have been like if they would have gone that way. I don't uh, even understand how. Like, how would that have been a Resident Evil game? Like, I don't even know, man. <laughs> it'd, been, it'd have been cool though. Sorry, God. It would be like. I- I, Hunter, I wanted to ask in uh in Final Fantasy sixteen, does that mean uh Dante is gonna show up with his robot arm? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on. Let's move on. I don't want to talk about this. Uh so I I while we're on the topic of upcoming games, uh there have been a ton of leaks leading yes. up to next week. And uh I think I'd like to discuss some things regarding that because there's some really, really good shit. And uh, I'm actually excited because I don't know any of them and I want to react. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So um, first let's let, I'm going to set a little bit of expectations here. Uh, There's not going to be any Saints Row or Dead Island 2 at E3. No. Yeah. Dead Dead Island 2 doesn't exist. Like let's I, let's just get that out of the way. I I I don't know I don't know at this point because <laughs> I've been gaslit so much on this game. <laughs> and really, I can't imagine it would really live up to anybody's expectations either no, at this point. Because Dying Light came out and it's ten times mm-hmm. better. Mm-hmm. And I'll uh, I'll be the first to admit I enjoyed Saint Row Saint Row Two and three to an extent and four like i would rather play one of those at this point than a grand theft auto i said oh i i'd love to play saints row 2 again oh, yeah. i love that game yeah that yeah. game's awesome also time splitters uh time splitters will also be there uh which you should just oh, me think, think of something which it's like I was just saying, like, I just want more HD remasters, and like that would be an yeah. amazing yeah. HD remaster. They just do Saints Row Saint, collection. Yeah, Saints Row two, three, four. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. They've made two, or not two. They've made three available so many different ways. Like it's been on Game Pass, and it was on. Uh, I think it was a game with gold one month. Like it's. Oh, yeah. They've been giving that game away for years now, so I don't only- see people wanting to rebuy it again. The only one that they haven't really touched is Saints Row two. And they have not touched Saints Row 1, which is probably a good idea. And yeah, that's probably a good idea. That game wasn't great. <laughs> but yeah, the, it, no Saints Row, Dead Island, Metro, uh, or Time Splitters. Time Splitters, I understand because they just announced it, and I doubt they mm-hmm. have anything. Uh, Metro is kind of disappointing because that's always a really good way to like show tech. That game yeah. is always beautiful. Um yeah, but I mean, they had the that last one come out. I don't think it really went over all that well. Like, I didn't no. think many people were clamoring to play more like Russia subway stories. No, that, that that series to me has always kind of been like I really like the first one. The second one's okay, and I didn't finish Exodus at all because I fell off super hard. Yeah, I played it for like twenty minutes and was like, ah, okay, I'm cool. I was like, this looks good, but nothing about this is interesting. I feel like they don't market it well. And so no. like, people have no idea it exists. It, I feel like also like those games, game, Fallout, 
existing kind of hurts that game a lot of ways because 100 percent because now it's just like oh this is just fallout <laughs> and it's not it's definitely not fallout but i feel like that's the general concept perception of that game is oh this is just a fallout knockoff um but yeah uh, moving on to this, uh, Elden Ring, Summer Games Fest, apparently, not E3. So that would be this upcoming Friday. We might have Elden Ring news. I don't know if it'll ever even come out either, because George R. R. Martin's involved with it. Yeah, I, lo- I love that. I love that specific detail, is that this game is taking forever to come out, and it has George R. R. Martin's name attached to it. Mm-hmm. Well, He'll do, that'll come out before his next Game of Thrones book. So yeah, which is hilarious. Oh, he'll before be the, dead. Yeah, he will. Hmm. That was like uh, a threat. Well, his, <laughs> his, goal, he'll be dead. his goal in life is just to leave everybody dead. like yeah, he will. Ending. He's just like uh, oh, that's all you'll part- ever get. <laughs> Maybe he does kind of think that it's like oh, well they finished it, I don't have to now. I'm sure he's making so much more money off of everything, and he's just like Jersey trash. So I have to respect that. You know what? Like after the show ending the way it did, I'm okay with him not. I mean, oh, from from what I've like, I've I've listened to people talk. They're like, "What if that was the ending?" And he like saw the reaction. He's like, "Oh fuck!" I just, I have a feeling that's closer to reality than you think. But. Yeah, he's just like ah, I'm not just gonna delay it until I could figure something out. Yeah, I I don't know. I like I like George R. R. Martin. Uh, I think he's a good writer. Like I, Game of Thrones yeah. is an interesting fantasy world, but like he's a, he's a nerd. Like yes, he's he's a capital N nerd. No, <laughs> he, he's a jock. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I remember like he there are comics that he's his letters are in like the letters to the editor. He's probably a good geek. I think I it think, was some issues of Spider Man. Yeah, oh, I think from like the eighties, right? Yeah, Not something like that. He because he was one of those dudes that was at like OG comic <laughs> conventions, and like people remember him because like he was, because he was he looked he went, exactly because he wouldn't leave them alone. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. who's the nerd in the sailor hat? Why is he dressed? Train conductor. Oh, no, train conductor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, in my mind, him and Guillermo del Toro are just like clones, and they just gave one a little bit of like Spanish. <laughs> well, yeah, one was raised in Spain, and the other one was uh, was raised in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh God, that explains so much. <laughs> yeah, like totally opposite. Um, yeah, but they're both in the crazy, weird, freaky shit. Oh, and I'm sorry, and Guillermo isn't from Spain. Is he's he? from Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, he's Mexico. from Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I thought just... he was... I was just going to let you burn live on air. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's, no. He's, he's Mexico. He's like Mexico, Mexico. Like, he's super, yeah. super Mexican. Yeah, no, I just, I remember there were, like, he and uh, the two other Mexican directors of note that they all Cuaron kind of came up. Robert Rodriguez? No. 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 Uh, Alfonso Cuaron and... Uh, yeah, because oh, yeah, they yeah, all kind of came out together. Yeah. Yeah, Bird and Boy, Children of Men. Yeah, That's Harry Potter movie. Three, Children of Men. Yes, Children yeah. of Men is a phenomenal movie. Children of Men is awesome. That's the yeah. five hundred one one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's awesome. I, I, I never, I've never seen that one, uh, but I've always oh. heard, I've always heard that it's really good. It has a really cool like shot that was like a single sequence. Yes, that was, like, yes. Possible yeah, film. that was CGI and live action combined. Yeah, it's yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Only watch you it sh- if you want, like, n- like to s- to just Im- like embody bleakness. It's yes. fucking <laughs> so bleak. Like, it's oh like, hell yeah, I sure do. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's actually kind of interesting, like to look back on because there's a lot of stuff that kind of borrowed from like that story. Like Handmaid's Tale is like borrowed a lot. I know that well, book came out a while ago. Yeah, I mean anything past the first season though apparently isn't based on the book. So yeah, yeah. they've they've borrowed heavily hmm. from Children of Men. Wait, Handmaid's Tale is a book? Yes. Yeah. Margaret Atwood. Dude, I'm it's learning. Not even a, I think it's like a short book too. It's not I like think a, it is. Yeah. I'm, learn, I'm learning today. This is, it's a tale. No, 
No, you're not. <laughs> you'll you'll no. forget all of this in a day. No, I'll, I'll, I will literally leave this chat and not remember a single thing I said. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, this is actually this is something I'm actually really excited about. Is that there was a giant 2K leak, uh, and Marvel XCOM is coming, and it's been yes. Pretty- like two people so like I've... what does that what does that mean can you explain that to me like what okay. is marvel xcom like i know what xcom is okay marvel... so <laughs> it's a strategy Wolverine game miss with his claws a lot <laughs> yeah he's, <laughs> that, he's gonna be like right next to somebody and miss uh, 90 <laughs> chance hit. um i personally uh xcom is sort of like a super hardcore strategy game uh, t- like it is like I, I in my personal opinion it is the most hardcore like if you're really into these games XCOM is the most like pure strategy thing out there and putting Marvel in it was like is like a really good ideal yes so it is I'm, I'm really really curious to see what this thing looks like if you, Fire Axis does not fuck around um, that's the thing I wonder about. Like, is it going to be you're playing as Marvel superheroes, or is it going to be that there's like you're an agent of Shield, or you have like squads of Shield soldiers? <laughs> I I think from what uh, Jeff Grubb has talked about, is it sounds like it's superhero. Um, shield heroes would be that, that'd Pete. be a that'd be a terrible way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I think I don't remember who said this, but it was like it would be cool if it was like the X Men, and you're just sending mutants in, and like they're just dying left and right. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> It'd be terrible. <laughs> but then they'd come back like next mission. Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> the, yeah, because the they, resurrection protocols. Yeah, they always come back. That's the thing. <laughs> Death means nothing to the X Men. Um, no, especially. There's also- so, Hangar 13, the guys behind Mafia 3, are also making something called Project Bolt, which is described as Saints Row meets Cthulhu. Interesting. Okay. Which is awesome. Yes. That, yeah. Wow. That's an interesting combo. I, I, it's I like just, gothic horror comedy. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and for them to be making it is... Interesting because, like, I, my, I I love the mafia games and they are deadly serious. Like, there's not a yeah, lot of humor like in Saint, those. Saints Row Three is like awesome. Like, yeah, and that's not a funny game at all. Yeah, like it, it, it it's like Mafia Three is like the most serious game I've played in the last couple of years. <laughs> and I'm curious to see if these people actually have a sense of humor. Uh, I think they do because, like, they feed like in Mafia Three, you can like feed people to alligators and stuff. So maybe, maybe they are it's an achievement. Yeah. So maybe they they do think things are funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for that. There's also uh, the uh, Salu so the the NBA 2K cover star got leaked too, and it's some guy named like Dero Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki. Ner- yes. Is that a big okay. deal? <laughs> I know uh, nothing about. He's basketball. if it's Dirk Nowitzki, he's really old. I mean, I thought he'd be retiring. Uh, he's a very old German guy. So really, I guess, and he's white. So Germans oh, throwing it back. Um, <laughs> he, he was. He's on Mark Cuban's team. Like he's on the Mavericks. Oh. It's just interesting because he's he's got to be like pushing forty. Well, it could um, be like I, I, I they probably like because I know the last one had a lot of stuff Michael Jordan in it. So maybe it's uh, no, like that was that. like that was like four ago. The last one was all wow. about Kobe. Is uh wow. is this new well, one gonna good. have a is the new one gonna have a ghost story in it? <laughs> oh god, yeah. The the uh... is Spike Spike Lee coming back? Yeah, as somebody played hope. No, this played... time it's Spike Jones. <laughs> oh, Actually, man. you know what? I'd like that. That'd <laughs> be kinda cool. Get more <laughs> filmmakers to make stupid NBA things. Yes. Get David Lynch on NBA. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God, <laughs> that'd be amazing. S- somehow it would be the most technical, technically advanced like basketball game ever. It's secretly, he's a huge NBA fan. I love the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, oh man, that like just as like a NBA fan, like that's a weird, weird choice. 
like yeah. like the oldest literally like europe german european player like i know they're trying to broaden out to like more global because the nba is like like the second biggest like professional league outside of like soccer but like it's real weird it's a real really? choice it's a really weird choice i would think that would be baseball out of all things because then no baseball is really only big in the states latin america and like korea and japan the nba oh. the reason why it's the nba is because they have europe and they're gigantic in china Re- oh wow okay i did not know that learning thing uh, yao ming oh that makes sense yes um uh, yeah so like that's weird like i'm trying to think like because every year has like a base cover and then like a like the upgraded cover and so last <laughs> year's it was kobe was like the upgraded one jordan yeah. was that like a couple years ago they had and the uh, it's like the black mama edition right that was like the special yes, edition. yeah yeah that's what they do like all the time so like it's yeah, they did, like, several years ago, they did, like, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. So, like, Dirk in the league still is really weird, like, to have him <laughs> be on the cover as the old guy. He, so, like... Eh, I mean, I don't know. I it, it could be, like... I think that's, like, maybe they're trying to do a thing. I know WWE, for a while, was doing a thing where it was, like, look at all these legends and, like, ah, oh, these guys are all racist or dead and this is not good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, it's usually like it becomes a, it's usually a big deal for NBA and Madden because like for the NBA it's usually bigger cuz like it's usually like the like the one cover is like a really young player yeah. and then the other one's like a legacy guy but like Dirk's yeah. in the league so it's weird. Hmm. That is Well, strange. my thing that I've never understood with like any game that has two different covers that come out is why does anybody really look at the covers to their well, the boxes one, or the one cases? Is like a, one is usually like a special edition, and then you get like special shit in the game. Well, I get it. that, yeah. but that's like, but that's like the sleeve on it, correct? I, I, I always like the the um, the reversible covers. Yeah, that's but, fine. Yeah, but, you're that, not... but it's not like like steel books for me. Like recently, I really like steel books, but like you would, yeah. I I do too. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Still like guards. It, it, <laughs> it, yeah, I agree with you. It doesn't make any sense, especially how many people buy digital. So I think it's more like it's more about sticking the name on there to try to get people to do it. Yeah, to get that version. Yeah. And the Kobe one last year was like a whole thing because well, he died. Yeah. I I I I I don't. I've always kind of had an interest in those those sports games because I've always seen like playthroughs of them where like they'll have I, I especially in the I think it was like last year's or the year before where like it there was a really big like uh Gatorade sponsorship and you could go to a, like an in-game Gatorade store and buy power ups. No, that's a thing they've had in the games for like years. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, you... being, like signing prom- signing and negotiating in your like my character mode endorsements is a part of the game. Yeah. So okay, Eric. So the the footage I saw is like there's a store you go into and you talk to a storekeeper and he's like, "Would you like to buy a Gatorade Power Up bar? <laughs> It'll yeah, give you an increase in stats." Yes. Yeah, so de- there's three different Gatorade things. Each one helps you in different ways. So one's a protein bar, one's the recovery, and one's another thing. And they're like, "Oh, your meter, your turbo meter." like is longer or tr- recharges faster stuff like that so do they have a uh, realistic medic that you go to then for all the kidney stones that you get from drinking all these Gatorade <laughs> products all the time? <laughs> yeah, they, like it's it, it's like the weirdest thing in a video game there is like product placement that is equal in the because I mean, there's also like you have all the shoe deals are in it like you have to negotiate your shoe deals and your mind <laughs> character yeah. your character died because they became diabetic from all the glucose <laughs> they been in the next game do you have to go on stock x and like enter a raffle and like, <laughs> oh, no. No, you're gonna be selling uh what do you call it nfts oh yeah nfts oh, of pokemon cards god damn it <laughs> <laughs> see but the thing is the big nft is like you're actually in real life selling an nft of your character selling an nft oh my god kill me Fucking kill me! This world is terrible. <laughs> no, that that market fell out, didn't it? Didn't like yeah, it, cra- it, cra- 
it crashed super hard and like I can't believe it. They they were spending upwards of thousands Back. of dollars on JPEGs. What were they all expecting? <laughs> yeah. Didn't didn't somebody buy like one of them for like two million dollars? Yes. Well, there were there were like artists that were artists selling stuff that way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I listened to uh, like a Times podcast and the guy was talking about like yeah he sold an NFT of his article that he wrote for like half a million dollars but like he was donating all of it and then because of the NFT market it actually ended up increasing in value so he's like yeah he's like technically I'm a millionaire even though like that money is tied up to go to a thing but like yeah a picture of a thing I wrote is now technically worth a million dollars it's insane that is. Well, yeah, the the guy who started Twitter was selling his first tweet as an yeah. NFT. I fucking hate everything. Yeah, like didn't like the stupid rainbow cat was one of them. Yeah, yeah Nyan cat. Yep. Charlie bit my finger was taken off YouTube and like uploaded as an NFT. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like I kind of yeah. get it. It's weird, but like I kind of get it. I... In, like the sports world, because it kind of replaces cards, like trading cards. Well, that's a whole fucked thing in and of itself, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the thing that's, at least in that, that's interesting to me, and, like, with the art, is that the original artist can still make money off of every time it's resold. Like, yeah. That part makes sense. But yeah, I'm, why anybody I'm, wants to buy it doesn't. I'm fine with that, but how about we don't have this fucking ridiculous system and the artist just gets paid properly for the work they've done instead of... No! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, and let, we're not even talking about how it was a completely environmental shitstorm of like, yeah. how they were doing all these blockchains. It's so yeah, dumb. Well, Which is hilarious. Just... I was like... <laughs> I had to you read know... up like, wait, how are these electronic things like an environmental issue? Like... Yeah. Oh... It's just it's stupid. I, I, I want to talk about stocks now. No, no, uh, oh, yeah, not really. Hey, not, not really. hey man, uh, I've, I've got I've got some money in Dogecoin, so I'm okay. I'm, okay, the one thing I will say about the Dogecoin, I got thing six bucks. Is I was, I was, okay. <laughs> I was going to I was going to invest a lot of like like hundred dollars into that, and yeah. I was I was primed to make about three thousand dollars for a while there <laughs> if yeah. I actually did it. Yeah, uh, but. I, yeah, I bought it when it was 0. 0.004 cents. So don't just, just don't. Yeah. It's yeah, don't. I'm, every, I'm glad it I just, did. It goes down every day. The yeah. last thing I want to say about stocks is Elon Musk. Uh, this was an article I saw on, <laughs> on the Robinhood app. He takes Elon an entire Musk, market. No, Elon Musk has tweeted his support for a crypto coin called Cum Rocket. <laughs> Oh my god. There's no way that's real. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, you, it have is. you seen the name? Have you seen the name of his you know, child? Like, oh, like, like, oh my god. Is he just are you trolling everybody? Are you? I think so. <laughs> I think he is. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> I'm surprised I, that guy hasn't gotten into the video game market. I'm sure he will eventually. IO Interactive. Is making a fantasy game apparently, uh, with dragons. I'm, specifically. I'm excited about that. I am I'm, too. I'm um, very excited about that idea. They, uh, I think they just recently opened up like two more offices, so I guess that they're working on this and 007 concurrently, which is awesome. Please doing that. Uh, but man, but this they is they have to weird. add in all that Amazon marketing inside the game. Oh, uh, Jeff, that's Wait. Up. Wait, IO is owned by Amazon? No, Bond is. Oh, yeah. Bond. Oh, see, I was. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about the fantasy game. Yeah, I can't wait because... to have a uh, Amazon Fire integration in 007. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. say one more thing about the stock market. Sure. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just looked up Cum Rocket, <laughs> and it's it's uh like its stock symbol is ticker. <laughs> it's cummies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, right. I I knew that would destroy you, Andy. So. <laughs> oh, <Rocket. laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So IO interactive fantasy. Uh I am yeah. looking forward to seeing this. Um because I feel like uh, there's a lot of like a push to make fantasy games. Uh yeah. Square Enix is making Project Athea. 
which looks fucking sick out of that trailer they recently released they showed off more it makes me really mm-hmm. interested in that game i didn't and, know anything about this yeah so project athea is like this it's like a game where you play someone who's dropped into a fantasy world. It's basically an isekai. Uh, oh, awesome. Interesting. But, like, it, the main character is, like, constantly, like, is that a fucking dragon? It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, why, like, how has no one made that game before? Yeah. Like, uh, it, there's it's, there's so... so many anime based on being a guy who gets dropped into a video game world. Why wouldn't you just make that a video game? Yeah, it makes so much sense. Too much sense. But um, with uh, IO's fantasy game, like I keep trying to wrap my head around like the mechanics of Hitman, but fantasy based, and it just it doesn't yeah. work. So I'm hoping they do something different. You know, you, I honestly. don't think you can garrot a dragon. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Like a> goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I just really want to dress up like a chicken and go into the goblin party. And yeah, spike the punch. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw rocks at things until they die. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's I mean, like I said, I hope they do a different a different engine or not engine, but just like a different play mechanic for it, because I don't know how they could move Hitman's gameplay over to fantasy. And I understand that's probably not what they're gonna do, but that's all I can focus on at this point, because that's all I can really think of with IO. You could still play with it if you were like a fantasy like thief or like assassin. Yeah, like, and you could be running around like a kingdom, like a city, like different cities. Yeah, but I kind of don't steal, want them to do that. And you got to steal from dragons. Yes, and throw fire extinguishers at you them. Gotta, you got to rob a dragon. <laughs> I just, I, I kind of hope they don't go that way though, like because it'll feel I don't, like it, it's just a fantasy skin. I hope not. Because if you play like Hitman Absolution, there's like a little bit of action game in that where it's like, oh they, really? Yeah, there's like. There, it's not like the 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 normal main games where like it's much more like uh, I don't know how to. That say, was it's, it's that was the one before the new ones, right? Yeah, before the reboot. It, it is. Yeah, yeah. It is a lot the more one, faster. Is that the one where you days. wake you you wake up in the coffin yes. at the one point? Okay, yeah. yeah, that is much more actiony. Yeah, is that it, the, is that the one that had the uh, the assassin nuns? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. so okay. dumb, and it has Kane and Lynch in it. It's so weird. Isn't what there the like fuck? a new? I feel like there's a New Orleans mission in that one. I believe so. It, it's you, it's I, Mardi Gras. <laughs> the best thing about that game is that you can play every mission by just like if you can't find your target, just mow everyone down. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what this game is because there's like hardly any information about it other than there's dragons in it. Oh, okay. you just reminded me of one of the one of the missions in that game, I believe. You go to like a little kid's party and you could dress as the clown. Oh no. <laughs> and that's how you get into the party. And you could rig the barbecue to kill your target. <laughs> so Hunter, what you're telling me is IO is confirming that they took over uh, the rights to scale bound. And they're uh, they're gonna be the ones putting <laughs> uh, I, I bought an Xbox One for that game. I, I can't I, uh, I can't believe I fell for it. <laughs> I'm still eternally upset that that game. I am came too, out. man. Yeah, Plat- platinum deserved that. <laughs> that they game did. To come out. They did. That could be a whole episode just talking about the games you wanted to come out that just never did. Just yeah. Bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is something I. This is like something I really want to talk about on the podcast. Uh, and that is Marvel's giant push into getting in the game, seemingly. With everything that's like sort of in the air that they might be yeah. doing. Uh, supposedly, Dusex guys are working on Guardians of the Galaxy, which is awesome. Please Ooh. make that game. That would be interesting. Uh, there's also the, the XCOM Marvel game. Yep. And there's rumors that uh, Crystal Dynamics is going, since they opened up the new office in Austin, is that that team will take over Avengers. And do all the updates, and then Chris and I have to work on another Marvel game. Hopefully, it'll just be single player. Yeah, I'm hoping it's like a Tomb Raider thing. That would uh, be cool. That I, like, can like, we just I don't get a fucking X Men game? Yeah. I I would really. I was thinking the other day is like there there hasn't been an X Men game in about like twenty years. Well, like fifteen ish. It yeah, 
the last when one was, was X-Men's Legends 2? No, no, there was the Silicon Knights. Oh, oh yeah. no, the versus the what was it called? The not non humans, they were Nemesis. No, Guys, that was the EA Rise game. of the Imperfects. Uh, Imperfects, uh, Rise, yeah. Rise yeah. of the Imperfects. That, that was oh, God. I okay, here's the thing about that game <laughs> when I was a kid, I really liked that game, and I could like. It is the most red edge lordy shit on earth. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, you're like an emo edge lord kid. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. What was Johnny it. Ohm? Johnny Ohm, my favorite Marvel character. <laughs> and Brigade and uh, Toxic, I believe his name. Was. Oh, <laughs> didn't, there was another game that came out that same time, X Men Legacy. Wasn't that the fighting game? No, it's the one where you didn't get to play as an X Men. You got to play as one of three. No, that characters. was no, no. That was the P- the PS3 and Xbox 360 game. Yeah, that was the one that yeah. didn't get pulled off the shelves. That was a uh, Silicon Knights. Yeah. Wait, why did that have to get pulled off the shelves? Because it's shit. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Also, also because they were getting sued by who was it? Um, shit, I forget which studio it was that they had used assets from, and tried to fight them in court and they lost their court case and <laughs> because that x-men game was using some of the, the proprietary tech by whatever company this is i can't remember who it is um they had to pull the game off the shelves it's a shit game anyway well that's what i've heard yeah yeah the only interesting part of that game is that it featured not playable characters that have basically never shown up in anything like, I think Magma was a big part of that game. Yeah, I think Bastion was the last boss. Yeah, like, it just was, like, pulling out of, like, deep, like, yeah. 90s, like, early 90s cuts. Yeah. Give but me yeah. an X-Men Legends game. Like, we got our massive, we got our Ultimate Alliance 3. Yep. Finally. Give me X-Men Legends 3. Uh, man, I'm starting to think that maybe I don't want that. Because I like Ultimate Alliance 3, but... I don't know if they could. They are capable of making a new a new X Men Legends game. I I don't think people are as hungry for Diablo like games anymore. No. Give me like, or give me a rogue like, but you're just Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'd play that. Okay. Because no, you I, basically can't die. So. Yeah. No, I could be into that. I don't know. I I would just like a good old belt brawler. Like. Yeah. That would be great. I would love something like that again, like, but have like a robust cast of characters to choose from. Like the, uh, uh, fuck, I'm I'm spacing on the name, uh, Ultimate Alliance. That's weird. Uh, like those games have like really good, just like the the best sort of combat for that, where it's like you just press buttons and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're Diablo game. Like they're that's literally what they are. They're just Diablo ripoffs. Yeah, and that's that's I mean that's what X Men Legends was too. I mean it had yeah, a little bit. They're just had... precur. They're just they are, they're the same game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's but I mean that goes back into like what I said. Like I don't think people are as hungry for Diablo like games as they no. used to be. Local multiplayer, unfortunately, is a dying art. Yeah, and like something like Hades, like that that has that Diablo feel to it, but it's also a roguelike and apparently yeah, it's that's literally the game. Phenomenal. Like that's just like... You could do a Hades like game, but just with any of the healing factor characters or like yeah. mm-hmm. a yeah. Deadpool Hades game. Fuck it. Yes. Why not? Oh god. No. The thing is, I don't that's want it, but that's the one they would do. Yep. Uh, oh my is that, our, is that our last X-Men game, technically? Deadpool? Yep, I think so, actually. That like, was a, that was after all the uh Silicon that, was a la- that was a last gen game, wasn't it? No, yeah, that was, was that was a PS3 and 360 game. I think it was yeah. end of life, and then they ported it over. Yep, it got taken off the stores because all that all that Marvel rights stuff, mm-hmm. and then it got re released on PS4 and Xbox One. And you actually got a good number of X characters in that. Yeah, so, Cable was in it. Um, you got to play was. a mission as Rogue after yeah. she kisses some Deadpool. Yeah. Um, that game is actually kind of fun. Like I, it's I, exactly uh, what you think it is. It's Deadpool, yeah. Devil May Cry. But I, I bought that on. I bought that game on launch, and like I had a oh, really no. fun time with it. Honestly, you upgrade things as chimichangas. Like yeah, uh, oh, got all the jokes. Fuck, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> he said oh, the funny. He said pause? the funny food. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Hmm? Can we pause so I can just fucking sit here gut and laugh. take that in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, this is take, a real fucking gut buster. Take, take your time, man. Okay, now I'm thinking about gum rocking and I'm actually laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, be an, you know what would be an interesting idea is if you were, if you played as shit, what are the name of those? As shit? You know? The characters that I'm in work work for Sinister. <laughs> God damn it! The, uh, the did the mutant massacre. What's Morlocks? That? The Morlocks? No, no, no. The ones who killed all the Morlocks. The Reavers. Plays the, the Reavers. Reavers. Yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. it's the guys who are turning themselves into robots. No, 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 not them. The ones that Sinister has clones of everybody. Is it the Marauder? It's not the Marauders. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it is the Marauders. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. If you did a rogue like as those, and it's just like Sinister just keeps cloning you after you fail. Jesus Christ. That would be that would be kind of funny. Like as a really, you just play as like Sabretooth and Gambit was one of them, and there are a bunch of shitty characters, and you just you just play as a villain. You just you just end up pulling off Angel's wings continually. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh, you pretentious Christ. rich blonde douche with your mullet. Jesus oh. Christ, Lewis! A lot of, a lot of, a lot of I, tension. Angel is a character I really don't like. You don't yeah. say. Then he becomes Arch Archangel, and he's like a cool Mimi Zemo character. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like. uh Who's the dude with the slugs that go into his stomach? Is it Maggot? Uh, is that his name? Maggot. Yes. Yeah, Maggot. Yeah. And he throws them at you, and then they. Yeah, do stuff. I like. That's my favorite X Men character. <laughs> Just, <laughs> not beat the dupe guy oh, uh, dupe, dupe is awesome dupe is great um no. <laughs> 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 but yeah marvel is finally getting into games um i finally it's great which is just in time for the other company to like sell off all their properties so we don't yeah. know what the fuck they're doing I, someone, for the love of God, make a Daredevil game. I am begging. Oh my God, Daredevil! Somebody, Arkham, Arkham Knight, but Daredevil. Yes, I'm begging. I'm whoever. I like. Come on, someone do it. <laughs> it's so like easy. A, a Defenders game like that, yeah. where you can switch and put Moon Knight in it. Yeah, I would consider. I would say like, you get Daredevil, Moon Knight, Iron Fist, Luke Morph. Cage. Morph. <laughs> this one's yes. for you, Morph. Yes, good job. Yes, or you could do more. <laughs> um, if you did like a Devil May Cry style game, but with Blade. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm into this. And, and or Ghost Rider, like I got a little bit horny. Like, <laughs> those kind of like you just have like Blade, like a Midnight Suns game. But there's like, a you... there's a great Ghost Rider game on PS2 that plays just like God of War. Oh yeah, yes. oh. it's so good. That's what I heard. Yeah, I remember. I remember when that came out. I was like, "That movie's bad. I don't want to play it." And then finding out much later that it was actually a good game. It's weird because that's. I think it's the same time when that Punisher game that's like, not kind of, but kind of Thomas Jean, which is it, awesome. It takes place in that movie yeah. that universe, but it's like you it's kill not somebody the movie. with a. You can kill someone with a rhino. Yeah, not the character, but the animal. Yes. But, uh, there was a. There was a great mod you can get for it on PC where uh, he it's uncensored because like in in the United States when it came out oh the black uh, and white yeah they had to censor it with black and white filter and it's hard to see what's going on but like there's a lot of brutal shit in that game <laughs> yeah well I mean you can you can kill somebody with like a thing full of Cromer for like for hubcaps and and, yeah. and bumpers yeah, yeah. yeah if you put someone like on a bandsaw but crotch first yep Jesus Christ. It's it's great, great game. Everyone should play that. <laughs> well, didn't speaking of games that aren't great, didn't they also release a patch for PC version of Manhunt Two, so you can actually see what the kills are in that? If I remember correctly, oh man, uh, I maybe I'm that sure. sounds like they did Manhunt. I've never been in a Manhunt, but like all the stuff surrounding it makes me not want to play it at all. <laughs> I. I played the first one for a bit, and like once I got past the like, this is stupid, like the super gory and ridiculous over the top edge lord stuff. Like it was a fun stealth game, but it just it, it was, decided to double down on that with part two, and I'm like, nah. Yeah, it's the era of like when Saw came out, the first one. Yeah, that's like that was like a thing. Stupid. It's a 
It, it, I just, I've never been interested in that shit. Yeah. Well, you were a child. Eric was already like 40, yeah. and I was yeah, in exactly. high school. So. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. a zygote. Um, yeah. yeah, Marvel mm-hmm. finally mm-hmm. doing it. Uh, and Something you know what else? Right. You know what else might be doing it? Starfield. I really hope so. There's, <laughs> I, they're saying 2022, uh, but there's there's a little bit of hope that it might be this year. I I personally do not put much stock in the idea that anything really can like we're lucky if a game releases releases this year. Honestly, yeah, yeah, we are. Didn't they just push back God of War? The, yeah, the, those people were crazy if they thought it was this year anyway. <laughs> it's yeah, regardless. I know, but like, like, yeah. No, it like Starfield, the one thing that like, and I know it's an irrational hope, but just the way they released Fallout 4, I'm kind of hoping they'll be like, yep, here's Starfield. Oh, and it'll be available in October or whatever of 2021. I know that's that, probably not going to happen. But... That is actually not far off from what they've always done. Is like they, yeah. they, they tend to announce games like around the time they're ready. Yeah, because they don't they don't talk about them at all until they're yeah. pretty much ready to go because when they do talk about them it's uh-huh. just people yelling at each other for, for six months till the game comes out yeah uh, and then and then they need to wait like a month before a patch comes out and yeah. fixes all the speed tree oh i think this is my crazy conspiracy theory is i think a lot of that was a previous board of directors oh, not okay letting, not letting them because there's a the like Robert Trump was on the board of directors for Bethesda yeah. for a while. Yeah. And, and if one of them were on that board, I'd hate to re- meet the rest of them. Yeah. I can't even wait. Which one? How is he related? Is he a brother? He's a brother. Donald Trump's brother served on the board of directors for Bethesda. And, and nobody the- and nobody knew until he fucking died. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's the one that died, right? From like alcoholism? Yes. yes. Uh uh, so I'm interested in seeing what it is, especially with Microsoft money behind it. Because I, I, I personally, my feeling is if since the buyout, I think there's there, there might be a restructure of how that company does things. Oh, I'm sure. But man, does well, Microsoft need like something? Well, I'll be, I'll be curious to see if like a lot of Bethesda stuff going forward is exclusive to Xbox. It. Uh, judging from stuff that Jeff Grubb and Jason Schreier have said, it really sounds like that might be the case. It's like a lot of why, these games. Why are else would they? Why else would they buy them? Yeah, it's uh, this is this money. is like th- they can't they can't have Rare make a game. That would be stupid. Yeah, uh, no, why would they do that? Yeah, uh, it's just I I'm just excited to see more Xbox games. Really, because I I want to get a Series yeah. X, but like. I'm looking at what they have. I'm like, all right, Halo Infinite, cool, but what Whatever what else is there? Out. No, like I I own one. I got it. It was a Christmas gift, and like I played a bunch of stuff on it, but like they're on both systems. Yeah, just pe- was... people have pointed out to me that there are games coming out for Xbox that are only on Xbox, but they're not they're not games that interest me. <laughs> like yeah. what? Isn't like I feel like what it's people are talking about like Bio Mutant or something. Yeah, it's no, that's not a, a Xbox One exclusive. exclusive oh, what they mean yeah. is like their small games are coming out for Xbox Series X. Yeah, so like, there's a lot of like uh, like pseudo indie games. Yeah, but there's no there's no system sellers. There's nothing that because like I can play any of those games on my PC. Like, yeah. well, well, I mean, I've had an Xbox since Xbox the original Xbox, and I. I can't think of anything on Xbox One that was really a system seller per se. No, like I, I feel like they've kind of put themselves in that that place where they're like, yeah, we might not have the best games, but look at all of the games you can play for yeah, such a cheap price. The, that was their whole thing with the Xbox One was like it was the ecosystem, and originally pushing like the multimedia, like you can do all this yeah. shit with it, which fell on its face. Yeah, well, and, that was and, and Game that Pass was, is douchey, Larue. Go ahead. Game, Game Pass is great, but like, I I want a, like things that I can only play on my Xbox. Like, it's not because any I I I spent fifteen hundred dollars on my PC. I can play any of these games that are coming out on my PC if I'm so inclined. Yeah, I, 
I don't have a reason to own a Series X because I have Game Pass on the PC. Well, that's like a whole other argument. Like, because I, I don't think you're ever going to get that because like it's Microsoft, so yeah. it doesn't behoove them to separate PC from the Xbox. It's more no. like what do they have that P that PlayStation doesn't have that Sony doesn't have. It, nothing, nothing right now. Halo. <laughs> yeah. They have Halo. They have Halo coming. That's it. That's but coming. It's not even out. Like yeah. coming. Yeah. And Come, PS5 has it. already has already had, rockets. PS5 has already had what like three big exclusives, three or four. Yeah, I just I that's that's my other thing is like I would love to play like God of War and both Spider Man game on PS5 and okay. you know. If, couple other things but realistically like after i do that then it's just like all right i can play everything else on an xbox one or an xbox series x if i get it, that eventually it's a, it's a re- real double-edged sword that like i don't think people are thinking about it's like there there is no incentive to own an xbox series x other than game pass and yeah. i like i like game pass i don't get me wrong but it's like like i said there's i can play any of those games elsewhere i yeah, the only reason I got Mass Effect on my like, Series X is because I got the ten percent off for having Game Pass. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's that's the only reason I get like certain games on there is because you get that little extra off if EA is the publisher. I don't even know if they're doing that with Bethesda or anything else. I think that's just like an EA thing. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's interesting. It, it's the first. It's a very weird ecosystem the consoles are in right now where there's not a whole lot to play on them but things are still coming out uh, and beyond that even being able to get a hold of one of them at this point yeah and that is yeah. mostly covid microconductor shortage stuff mm-hmm. like, well and the conduct that's a yeah that's a covid world problem like car manufacturers are yeah also- yeah when i was working in the automotive industry that was a huge issue for us is we couldn't get the parts we needed because of that yeah i just i that's that's my biggest problem too is that like yeah i I would love to be able to have a choice to buy either of the systems but unless i want to go on ebay or go on to like some shady secondhand dealer on on facebook marketplace go into fucking stock x and play eight hundred dollars for a ps5 yeah there we go yeah it's just like it's it's stupid it I'll get and, one from Wish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get the box from Wish. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, you'll get like the Sony Play... play Sony. Play, Sony. <laughs> the Sony. The Play Box. The play Sony, box. The, the Sony Play Box. The, po- the, the Sony S-Box. I'll get the S-box. Sony... I'll get the Sony <laughs> Cum Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> but yeah, I... I like Starfield. I'm excited to see what this is as well. Like, I, yeah. like there's not a lot of information. It surprisingly, there's not a lot of information on it. There's not has not been a single leak as to no. what the game. No, I mean, that tells I, you how not developed it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. I, like, I, I think, think they've been working on this forever. Yeah, it from the sounds of it, like from what Todd Howard has like mentioned about the game before, like this has been a thing since Skyrim came out. It's like this, this has been an idea they had. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't just feel like fallout three in outer space or fallout in outer space. Cause I want it it to be its own thing. I'm sure it will have fallout 76 in outer space. Mm. I'm sure it will have its own like ecosystem kind of thing where it's like, Mm -hmm. this is an open world, like fallout fallout. But like, I bet it, I hope, It'll like kind of differentiate itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I just... kinda, it's kind of interesting though because if they're owned by Microsoft, are they kind of going to be eating their own lunch if they have these companies that they own that are making games in kind of a competing genre? Well, I mean, they, it, Bethesda, like specifically this arm of Bethesda, doesn't come out with games all that often yeah i've like, been like if you're like a sci-fi and like mass effects i mean uh like comparing to like a if there there's a mass effect coming out it's like those kind of sit in the same place well it's a it's a different 
the thing is, like, there there is a rabid fan base for Zenimax games. Like, it's mm-hmm. not like, mm-hmm. oh, I know that it's they're essentially playing to a niche audience, and yeah. the games sell really well because, like, they're. I feel like they are more more uh, accessible than Mass Effect is in some ways. Yeah. Uh, well, but, the last Mass Effect didn't help them, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> But it, it it's a thing of like I think that there is an audience for both, and both audiences are going to be served no matter what. Yeah, yeah, and it's it, I mean it depends on what on on what this even ends up being. Like yeah. maybe it's not going to be at all like Skyrim or Fallout at all, and it'll be something completely different. Yeah, Which, it, I wonder if the new Mass Effect would be a system exclusive. No, because. Uh, because no. Microsoft doesn't own EA. No. No, yeah. but they, they have like a very tight relationship. They do. But I mean, yeah. it, it would probably yeah, just be a exclusive. limited exclusive. Microsoft is courting EA. They're never going to buy them. It's no. just the thing of It'd like. It'd be too I, much money. Yeah. It'd be way too Ten, much. Tencent is going to buy EA way before Microsoft yeah. ever will. Yeah. Because yeah. EA has like the two biggest schemes that exist <laughs> that so, they do zero work on. Yeah, they, back they to, uh, they're money printers, essentially. Back to uh, Starfield real quick. One of the craziest things I'd read back when the first, well, not even first, I don't even know. This was this was probably like five years ago, back when people were at a froth about it again. Somebody had posted some ridiculous theory, I think, on Reddit or some somewhere I'd seen it, regardless, um, saying that, well, yes, yeah, Starfield is actually the first game in the trilogy of Starfield, Fallout, and then Skyrim, because... no. no. I hate Starfield. That. Starfield is like the distant past, and then what happens is technology from Starfield is found in Fallout later in the game in the series, and that's how they end up making all the technological advances. And then once the world has been laid to ruin, is when Skyrim happens. So Skyrim is technically the future. I hate that so much. That's that's like saying that like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and One Piece are in the same universe. Okay, nerd. <laughs> Which no, because that's something that they have said. Like, I remember whoever owns that company. They're like, yeah, they're just on different planets. That's the stupidest thing. Ever. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I hate that kind of shit because, like, it just sets up, like, sets off being like, oh, that's exactly what it is, and I just never follow yeah. up on it. Well, that and and not everything has to be connected to other things. No, I do. I do have like the um, the Doom guy and PJ Blasco's connection. How like they're like distant oh. relatives. I like yeah, that's that fine. That's, because that's, that's stupid. Cool. It, that's stupid, and it fits. Yeah, yeah. Like, who cares about <laughs> who cares about that? Like, I mean, yeah. they're they're both essentially the same game, but just different genre or different time periods. So, oh, well, I would. Oh man. I would really love a new Wolfenstein game. Yeah, I would love I one. Did that... they... It's time. Did they make one? Like, the yeah, green one it wasn't like great. Two years ago, it yes, Young Bloods. Yeah, yeah, it's not great, but it's got cool ideas. It does. Like that's that's what I was gonna say. Is like I would love the new Wolfenstein to continue the one big idea that they implanted in Young Bloods, which was like multiple universes. Yes, and it's awesome. Theory. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. how they get to the BJ Blazkowicz Commander Key Connection. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Bring back Commander Keen. Well, I've got some news for you. <laughs> no, actually, the game was canceled. They, oh. they announced what? Oh. It was canceled. Really? Yeah, they can't. They fucking can't. Damn. <laughs> and it looks so good. I know. We were all clamoring <laughs> for the Commander Keen mobile game. It wasn't a. Wasn't uh, the guy who did Gears of War, um, wasn't he involved with Commander Keen games? Yes, I think he was. Yeah. No, he was, he was, he was Jazz Jackrabbit. That's it. Okay. Yeah. What is that guy's, what is that guy's name again? Cliff, I can't remember. Uh, Cliff Cliffy Blazinski. B. Yeah, Cliffy, Cliffy B. Cliffy B. All right. I, I couldn't Cliff remember. Blazinski. That guy, <laughs> that guy is a huge douchebag, but I kind of yeah. love him. I kind of love him because he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He he leaned into being a douchebag real hard. Yeah. Which you just reminded me both of douchebaggery and bubble games, that injustice thing that happened. 
Oh. I, told, I told that to my wife. I can't she, believe that. She just was like, dumb. she's like, wait, what? Like, you mean play as? I was like, no. And she's like, no. no. It's, who, it's, who okay it's Pride this? Month. Come beat up this lesbian. <laughs> God, what a fucking stupid. Like, no one said like anything. Hard times article. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nobody said anything to them. They're like, who owns us? We don't know. And then do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was uh I was at an arcade that got put into what used to be a Sears in my oh. local mall. Oh god. It's, yeah, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like the size of like what a uh, Dave and Buster's would be. And for some weird reason, they have the Injustice mobile game as an arcade game. Yeah, and you yeah. get cards. Yeah, what the fuck? What what? Like how does that who would spend money on that? Yeah, who would spend money on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they serve alcohol. Uh, but that doesn't it doesn't matter. You're playing a phone game on a big screen. Who cares? I I okay. I, I've never been to Dave and Buster's, but there's one down the street. And now that I'm vaccinated, I'm kind of thinking about hitting it up. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, you look should. for a barcade first. But yeah, there Dave and Buster's isn't a bad time. No. No, you they can really get... have gigantic beer is super cheap there's this weird really really good horse racing game that's only at like what? Masters, where what? you can like you like breed your horse it saves on a card and then you could bring it back to the game so it saves your horse that you bred where okay what, what about horse doping is horse doping a thing <laughs> <laughs> how much gatorade do you feed your horse <laughs> You have to pay extra for that. The micro you, have to, you have to feed your horse a Gatorade protein bar and it'll make it run faster. How much Gatorade can it eat? Exactly. <laughs> um, no, if you do, if you go to the Dave and Buster's, look for uh, the Star Wars pod arcade game. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, dude, that's that is life changing. Oh, it's we're so going rad. to Dave and Buster's this week. <laughs> you should. You really go should. On. Like it costs like a dollar fifty or two dollars to play, but you basically get in this pod and have like a, I want to say it's like a four foot tall screen that That's is fucking uh, awesome that is like angled like yeah. so it kind of wraps around you and there's like a fan in there not that you oh, really need it for Star so Wars cool. but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's is it like a new version of like those old like Jurassic Park games uh, it, it you kind of about? Or like kind of it's, you ever see the uh, Walking Dead version of that it is it is oh, the, it's the one wa- with the crossbow. Yeah, it's Walking Dead theme, but it's actually pretty cool. Like, cause I, they had like a Walking Dead uh, light gun, quote unquote gun, yeah. game there. Yeah, and it's it, you have a crossbow, and it's that was actually kind of cool. But yeah, yeah the, uh, it just the reminded star- me of like weird arcade games. Is it, is it mm-hmm. which one had the pedal? Was that Time Crisis? Yes, yeah, Time, it was Time Crisis. Crisis. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's so nice. good. Uh, um. My brother had Time Crisis PS2, and we had like full on light guns, and it was mm-hmm. like the best time. <laughs> we would just like play through that game multiple times. Nice. Oh, I, I just remember too with the uh, the Star Wars Pod game, they have a bunch of different variations of the Pod, and one of them is a Gundam game. Oh fuck yes! Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah. oh no! No yes! I hope it's G Gundam, and I can. Play the sombrero one. Oh. No, I don't think I don't think you get to choose that far. I never, I've never played. Is there, it, a, yeah. is there an Italian? Mm-hmm. Is there an Italian one where he's just like yeah. eating a bowl of water? He's got Have a. Must- you never seen? You never seen the show? No, I don't think I've ever seen G Gundam. I think Dude, that's the Italian one, I one is. I think the first one he fights. Is it okay? How stereotypical is it? He he's not. It's actually one of the ones because he becomes like a bad guy that returns, I believe. Oh. I just really love it if he's dressed up like Mario. That'd be amazing. <laughs> no, I'll look it up, but like, yeah, he I don't think he's like that bad. Yeah, all the ones that are really bad are all the ones that are like background characters. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. Are, are we feeling good to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. So, uh... E3 predictions. Yeah, he's like a centurion. Oh, E3 predictions, Andy? You got some? It, yeah. All right. I don't want to share it if I'm the only one, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll give an E3 prediction if you if you give one. All right. Uh. All right. My pie in the sky is. 
Final Fantasy 13 trilogy remaster. Hell yeah. Um, I've been asking for that for fucking years. I'll replay um, those games. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, I think uh, we will get a, a title reveal of the next Final Fantasy 7 game. Yeah. Uh, like the remake. Um, the next, or the sequel to that. Uh, probably. Probably just because, like, you know, uh, Intergrade is coming out. Um, yeah. And I, 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 with it being free for everyone with PS5, I bet it'll be, like, a, uh, a big thing. Like, it'll be in, in the minds of everyone again. Yeah. Uh, so it'll probably be, like, here's... Uh, I don't know. And then they they announce the next title. And then, Final Fantasy uh, VII Remake, Come Rocket. <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> final fantasy 7 remake um, part 2 Aerith doesn't die <laughs> uh it's it's probably gonna be final fantasy 7 and then journey yeah. quote me on that um, all right all right and then uh uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go crazy uh because next year is Kingdom Hearts' mm-hmm. 20th anniversary. Mm-hmm. They're going to have a big Kingdom Hearts reveal. A big announcement for something. Uh, and additionally, an announcement for a remake of the mobile game Union Cross. Hell yeah. Yeah. Give it to me. But like, but like Hearts you know, in, in... Yeah. Well, Andy, with uh, you, I mean, are you a fan of the Kingdom Hearts games? I sure am. Okay. Would you prefer that they kind of finish the series out with the if they do another game, or do you want them to keep going with the story? I'm I'm more interested in Kingdom Hearts now than I ever have been before. I okay. it's like um I I think what they've started setting up is like more interesting uh than ever before. Uh mm-hmm. so I could I could take like several more games. Okay. I mean, I still have to beat three. Like, I got up to a certain point, and then I was just like, I'm bored, and walked away from it for a bit. So I, yeah. I just need to go back to it and beat it so I can see if I actually still care. It's, oh, man, I'm so, oh. <laughs> they, they, the, the, and the shit they're doing in the mobile game, fucking absolutely insane. Uh, that's, why, that's why we need a remake of it, because it's, like, pretty inaccessible. Um, despite being free, um, but they they are uh for uh the the game is shutting down uh this month I think. Oh uh, God! After several years, um, but they're they're going to make it uh still available to like download. Um, they're oh, just nice. repurposing it into uh a theater mode essentially. Oh, um, that's that's pretty interesting. Where yeah, so it's gonna have like all the uh story stuff still accessible um hmm. but just like none of the gameplay but i i think i think you can still like make your own avatar or whatever hmm. um but um i think i think the story goes crazy and interesting enough that they could make a full like action kingdom hearts remake okay uh out of that um, especially since they are <laughs> introducing a lot of incredibly important things. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts would never do that. What are you talking <laughs> about, Andy? <laughs> it's it's incredible. It's the only game series I know that dropped lore through a browser game. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like you just it's they just don't give a fuck. They're like, all right, play all this. Yeah. It, cer- it certainly had a big problem with being like inaccessible for uh, yeah a while, yeah. but now that like the if they made collections... a new one, would they include Star Wars and Marvel characters? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think Tetsuya Nomura has said that like he doesn't have any intention of like going oh. through it... like doing that. I don't think anything like beyond like Pixar really. So like stuff like acquired things other than. Um, yeah, because the uh, Final Fantasy VII or just Final Fantasy like connections in Part Three were super slim. Like, were there even any? I don't, I don't remember anything uh, sticking no, out. No, not until the DLC. Yeah, okay, they 
uh yeah so for, for three it was fo well okay so yeah yeah <laughs> the uh Namora's going crazy and he's <laughs> finally fucking which i Go fucking on. love i'm i'm so fucking on board he's basically finally making his fucking uh what's more game versus versus 13 really oh yeah he's yeah. like he's like oh you guys don't let me do that okay well i'm just gonna do that inside kingdom hearts uh <laughs> oh yeah i, I respect parallel that so much shit and there's a character who's pretty much knocked this and it's dude okay <laughs> before before i go too crazy about kingdom hearts i, I don't i don't want to get too in the weeds uh because trying to wrap it up it's with the because also the music game came out last year um so uh it it also added some important story <laughs> um <laughs> all right because it's 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 set up as like a it takes place after the um uh the the end of the three dlc it takes place like a year after mm -hmm. um and uh without going too much into stuff sora has disappeared um and so everybody is trying to find sora and they're going about a bunch of different routes and so the music game is Ky going through Kyrie's uh, memories of uh, the series uh, to see if they can find any information about where Sora may have disappeared to. Um, and that ends with them find realizing that he's in a fucking parallel world that is just uh, regular Japan. Um, and uh, it's got Shibuya and uh so he got reverse izakai yeah yeah and then uh so that they they've got the 104 building from uh <laughs> the world ends with you well that's what and... i was gonna ask is it is it actually real japan or is it the world ends with you japan um oh shit so okay oh, no so... <laughs> <laughs> there's so many layers to this so they they've already had the world ends with you characters in a kingdom hearts uh they showed up in a uh, dream drop distance yeah oh um, really yeah yeah it's really um, cool. doesn't that predate world ends with you no no uh, okay. world ends with you was a nintendo ds game yeah no i just i thought dream drop distance came out before no that was a okay. 3ds yeah okay um but uh uh but the uh um but yeah, and so like as, after you do like the world ends with you stuff, they're like, hey, you know, if you if you make your way to Shibuya, hit us up. And then uh like the the secret ending of three is Sora waking up in a super like photorealistic version of Shibuya. Uh, hmm. Like it's it's not like it looks like um it looks real. And then uh you also see other scenes from uh shinjuku uh which is which is where uh before it got repurposed into final fantasy 15 uh f versus 13 uh took place in shinjuku whoa um, really that's crazy yeah yeah, yeah. uh um because like the the giant the h building um which is a famous building there uh wow okay it, you you like if you go back and watch those versus 13 trailers you see it a bunch um you see like a bunch of landmarks and stuff uh they're like uh highway signs have locations uh but anyways the dlc for three uh at the end you fight this uh this noctis looking guy mm -hmm. um his name is yazora uh and uh i think his name translates into like night sky or something and uh so, you know sora's name translates into the sky and then noctis's name translates into the night something like that okay um, and then <laughs> and then uh uh if you if you defeat him it's a really hard boss fight if you defeat him you basically get that 
uh, the you basically see the original versus thirteen reveal trailer. Um, oh, whoa! But but like with these new characters in okay. it, so like when that stuff where like you see uh uh like Noctis in like the car and uh, somebody's mm-hmm. driving him and he's just going through the street. It's very iconic. Uh, imagery you you see that and it's the the camera angles are like exactly the same as it was in the versus 13 trailers and shit but it's just this new guy um that's i mean it it makes sense like he's like all right i get to do that so i'm just gonna put it in this game yeah and then uh the composer for the games she also did final fantasy 15 or whatever and the, the little they've got they've got little a little track during that part where like you it's mirroring the trailer There's, that sounds like the fucking 15 theme uh That's, damn but like kind of you know very very different but some of the motifs are the same anyways oh. they find out at the end of the music game they found out that, that world is called quadratum which translates into square <laughs> uh, so this might this this might be a because uh, up to this point all the worlds have been Disney worlds or original worlds. There haven't been any Final Fantasy worlds. Mm-hmm. Um, this oh. game, the the next part of the series, they might move over from having Disney worlds and because uh, it's like a parallel universe thing. So instead, Disney worlds, they might have exclusively like final fantasy worlds or not square based worlds. square enix worlds so yeah, yeah. Hell listen, yeah. we Are might we might see, we might see aya bray we might see fucking uh oh god it is is uh is is uh sora gonna team up with 2b i want to see that that'd be great <laughs> no, Dude. See, i was gonna make a joke are they gonna fight taskmaster <laughs> 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 they could do the marvel stuff still yeah yeah <laughs> that's awesome so at what yeah. point is uh, Sora going to be impaled on a stick when he's sliding down a waterfall um immediately okay <laughs> so yeah. check and he'll Too horrifically weird. he'll horrifically die for like 20 I'm, seconds Laura Croft will throw up because she's like oh it's fucked <laughs> yeah, yeah Hunter you have some E3 predictions I think uh, we're going to see some street, something Street Fighter. I don't know, because I'm thinking about how Capcom, I think it's t- like they're getting ready to make something fighting game related. Um, I think we might see, I don't know if particularly it will be Street Fighter, but I think Capcom will come in there with something interesting for people who are into those sort of games. Is uh, a new Darkstalkers. Is Street maybe, Fighter 5... Maybe playstation exclusive like it's 100 yes. ex- okay because i was yeah. gonna say i could see them like releasing like a complete collection that goes uh, to xbox but being that it's exclusive yeah it's exclusive to pc and playstation which was super okay. weird at the time um, yeah well it was also like one of the worst launch games of all time mm-hmm. yeah um i am i i think capcom is going to show some pretty interesting things i think we're gonna see some uh older capcom ips return because they've they've kind of been hinting like that is the plan is to go back and metal Metal madness the one that i have they've kind of been hinting at is dino crisis which i really want oh because i i I really want a new dino crisis game i think andy just bought some stock in that elon musk (laughs) (laughs) it went up sense he's making his own rocket um yeah yeah, Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, listen. I've I've got I've got an idea. Okay, all right, all right. All right. So Resident Evil, they've been going crazy. They've been they've been doing it, kicking it. I think you know if they continue the trend of hiding the uh titles of uh the number. Yep. Uh, hiding it in the titles. Mm-hmm. Resident Evil Ten. It's gonna be called Resident Evil Rex. <laughs> and it's gonna be a Dino Crisis reboot. Yes, hell yeah. That I, 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 
I saw. So I they, saw they, somebody they've saying, also been switching genres up. They haven't. Yeah. Um, I saw somebody say Resident Evil 10 should be called Resident Evil. Uh, oh no, Re- Resident Evil 9 should be called Resident Evil 6. That was me. I- <laughs> IX. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's, yeah. it's the first hours you just killing Wesker's child in horrible ways. <laughs> that's the whole game. It's just you murdering yes. Wesker's child. But yeah, yeah, that's really all I really think is uh, like the thing I, I think is most likely to happen is Capcom is to bring back some older IPs. Um, I'm, I, would, I, would I want Lost it. Plant. I want Lost Plant to come back because I think yes. They, oh hell yeah! I think current Capcom could like do something really interesting with that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, that I tried playing, I guess it was the second or third one that was like, and it was a multiplayer game. Yeah, that's you, three. You, you could play it single player, but it wasn't fun. Yeah, it's it just, just not. Yeah, it, that was uh, that was a, a huge bad disaster choice. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, both I would imagine the second and third one were huge disasters because they were weren't they mostly multiplayer? Uh, no. I think Lost Planet 1, I played a lot. Oh, Lost player. Planet 1, I beat. Yeah, I love that game. That was all yeah. single player. But the but, second uh, two, one and the third one. Two, yeah. Three is definitely where they leaned into the multiplayer stuff. The most. Uh, no thanks. Um, but yeah, that's my prediction, really. Uh, yeah. Anyone else got any before we wrap up? Um, oh, one mm-hmm. more that I came up during with during the show. Elden yeah. Ring canceled. Berserk announced. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That would actually yes. be a really smart move. R.I.P. Mira, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't think there's anything I have to predict because, I mean, honestly, I I haven't been paying as close attention as I should to hints and rumors and things like that. Like, <laughs> b- basically everything that like I've talked to with you, Hunter. Like that's yeah. that's all the stuff I've heard. So the, some of the stuff you talked about tonight, I was I didn't know anything about. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just want to see more of the Batman or the Gotham Knights game that's supposedly coming out in 2022 now. They're having they're having a showcase, so I'm I'm yeah hoping there's. I want gameplay of uh, both those games because I think yes. for the games to be their projected dates, there has to be something. I think they could show, uh, yeah. easily they could show something from Arkham uh, Arkham Knights. Definitely one of the games I'm most excited about. Yeah, yeah. I, I am excited for Suicide Squad because I, yes. I really I really want to feel like a Dead Island style. Uh, I just for... want to, only if I could play as King Shark. Yes. Yeah. Voiced by Samoa Joe. It's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> I want a voice by any and maybe all of the people that have voiced them. Would be great. <laughs> yeah. Ron Funches. Yes. Yes. Fuck yeah. I just I just want King Shark to say King Shark is a shark. King Shark. I I would be curious to see if Ubisoft is going to say anything about uh, the, their new Assassin's Creed game, whatever it might be. Uh, I, I feel, uh, haven't they hinted about like that they might finally give in and make one in Asia? Kind I, of. They, they, I feel they, like I saw something. It's like the only video game news I like. I caught was like they're like, uh, maybe we should. I mean, they might. I I wouldn't put it past them, especially. Now that they're desperate for good PR, <laughs> well, uh, that yeah. and they've 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 kind of stepped out of the like original what made Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed games. Now it's yeah. it's more just using the backdrop of the time period. To, now they're to, now they're Witcher games essentially. Like, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, it would it would also be good. Like of all the Assassin's Creed games, we've had what like two main games where you're not playing no three where you're not playing a white protagonist like yeah good yeah. to go somewhere else yeah no you're you're not wrong in that yeah at all. and the most visible one is like the first one and then origins yeah and yeah they well let's barely... not forget that italians are also people <laughs> <laughs> yeah well like in three they hide the shit out of connor by calling yeah. him connor yeah yeah, but um, yeah, there's nothing I'm predicting because I really don't know what to expect because it's it's been a really weird year. So it'll be interesting to see. If, 
I, yeah, I know. I, it's it's <laughs> well, there was this thing. It was called the Cum Rocket Stock. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just there's there's a lot of stuff that could be like getting dropped that nobody's expecting because companies had a lot of time to not worry about PR because they were too busy trying to do COVID PR. So, yeah. I think my only hope is like, or thing that I'm looking forward to, because I don't really know much. It's like, I don't know why, maybe it's like, I'm in the age group with the nostalgia thing, but like, I've been really liking these, like I said before, HD remakes. And also like, um, what was the thing we were talking about in the chat one time? The, um, was it the arcade pack? Was oh, yeah, the, the, one? the Capcom, Capcom arcade pack. Yeah. Yeah. Like more yeah. shit like that, I think, especially to like for my Switch would be great. Yeah. I would love a, a Capcom beat em up bundle too. Like, I, I don't oh, know what, yeah. what else I could put on it, but like, I'd love more more things like that. I want, I them like, to, I want the Aliens vs. Predator arcade game to be available again. Yeah. Oh, I fuck want, yeah. Yeah. I want the, well, they should, Disney own but... Eh, they're friendly with Disney. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they have. There's, there's a working relationship there. Well, they made yeah. that Ultimate Alliance three an exclusive. Dude, they made uh, Disney World games for the NES. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, and some really bad ones at that. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I'll still play them though. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm glad I downloaded uh, the two Dungeons and Dragons Capcom games when they came out on 360, because I feel like those are going to disappear eventually, and the only way you're going to have them is like with Scott Pilgrim, like if you downloaded before. Oh, weirdly, my wife's cousin worked on one of those games. Wait, oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Power of Doom or Shadows over Mystara? I don't remember. Shadows of Mystara is great. I hope it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're both amazing. They're great games. Yeah. Uh, all right. So do we want to wrap? Yeah, I think it's a good call. So I'll go first since I host. <laughs> uh, I've taken the reins. Uh, there you go. I Forceful. just started a new podcast. It's called Comedy Club. It's available on Spotify right now and Anchor. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have it on iTunes. And after that, I'm going to start uploading episodes to YouTube. Um, That's what this was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to release those on Sundays. So please look forward to that. And really, other than that, that's all for me. Uh, so who wants to go next? <laughs> it's a Mexican stand up. Uh, Oh, I guess in that case, I can go next. Yeah. So there's the comic show. Uh, at some point, we're going to do like a big Hellfire Gala episode to cover all the X-Men stuff because this new crossover is nice. really fun. Uh, if anyone has been reading it. And then we are also been watching the canon like genre films. So we watch Superman four, and then I think our next one is Masters of the Universe, oh, two of the no. films that killed canon. Oh no, <laughs> poor Frank oh. Langella. <sighs> it's the better movie of those two. It is. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and I think we might at some point do a Punisher trilogy and watch all three Punisher movies. Yes, do it. They're so good. Uh, so Dolph Lundgren, mm-hmm. Thomas Jane, and Punisher Warzone. Yeah, Ray I watch. Okay, I watch. I watched Punisher Warzone the other night. It's a good movie. <laughs> oh, it's I really like, good. If you listen I love that to, movie. uh, how does it mean? Had Alexi? I can never remember her last. Yeah, name. the the crank lady, right? Or no, yeah, that was crank. Yeah, that, that was, was her Ghost Rider two. Oh, right, right. Crank. Crank. Yes. Yeah. No, she was like another thing. She does like a TV stuff a lot now. She's like French or something, but she's like, yeah, I read a whole bunch of the comics. It just came out like right, like right after like a big mass shooting, and like that really oh fucked God. up the release. Jesus Christ! Wow, yeah. bad timing. And uh, the only thing I love is that like apparently Freddie Prince Jr. They were they pushed him on them to play Jigsaw, and he crushed it. And then they're like, no, we don't actually want him to play it like, oh, in the audition. Wow. Yeah, they, they wow. couldn't afford him. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because he's yeah. a giant nerd and he like loves comics and he's like, yeah, I want to play Jigsaw. Hell yeah. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Uh, I'm Eric Furchick. You can find me at Eric underscore Fedor on Instagram. There's a picture of dogs and shooting cats comics. Uh, I'm swimming around Phantom Zone, Phantom Zone things. Um, I'm also going to be completely liquidating my 401k and putting it into Cum Rocket. Um, <laughs> to the moon! You can follow all of Eric's stock dev- advice at young underscore Kame. Ah, yes. fuck you! Y U N G underscore K A M E. Yeah, you you beat me to it because I was gonna just say and like and hey with Hunter's uh, Kame Club, I also have a an Instagram that's young underscore Kame. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Andy, uh, do you have um, anything? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Andy Sites one one seven as Andy Sites one one seven A N D Y S I T Z one one seven. Keep yeah. me quoted is remember it's Final Fantasy seven the unknown journey. Yeah. Put that yeah. on your fucking calendars. Put that. <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna put it on your calendars. And if put you, it on if, there. If you'd like uh, Andy's college level dissertation about uh about King, uh, Kingdom Hearts, just right. Yeah, to you that. guys, you guys gave me an inch and I took a mile. I am sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You, should I, just I, make, I, you should make a video just explaining the entire like timeline of Kingdom yeah, Hearts. Yeah, I. Yeah, no, I want to. Uh, the pretty much most I spent most of the pandemic like barging through all the games, one hundred percenting them, and like yeah. taking notes. <laughs> so defeating that uh, Lance Bass voiced uh, Sephiroth. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so odd. Now that Superman, like the new Superman, does it for the Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> he's great. Yeah, yeah he's re- he's pretty awesome. Uh, all right. Well, on that note, uh, fuck X Men Apocalypse. We haven't done that one in a while. <laughs> I've Bye, seen everybody. that movie now, so I agree. Yes, adios. Bye bye. Come rocket to the moon. <laughs> <laughs>